Hello students, in the previous video, we have learnt that data representing in the form of pictures is called a pictograph. We can also represent the data in the form of bars. Bars of uniform width can be drawn horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. And then the length of each bar represents the given number. Such a method of representing data is called bar diagram or bar graph. Now let us see one example of a bar graph. Look at this example. This table shows that the number of science books sold by a shopkeeper on 6 consecutive days. On Sunday 70 books were sold, Monday 45, Tuesday 40, Wednesday 60, Thursday 30 and Friday 80. First of all, draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. On horizontal line, we will draw bars representing each days of week. Days of week. And on vertical line, we will write numerals representing number of books sold. Number of books sold. Let us choose a scale. It means we first decide how many books will be represented by unit length of a bar. Here we take 10 unit length to represent 10 books only. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Now on Sunday 70 books were sold. So 70 books. On Sunday 70 books. Monday 45. 45 lies between 40 and 50. So here 45. 45. Next Tuesday 40. 40. Here Wednesday 60. 60 on Wednesday. Thursday 30. Thursday 30. Friday. Friday 80. Now I will complete this bar graph. Now Sunday 70 Monday 45 Tuesday 40 Wednesday 16, Thursday 13 and Friday 80. So this is our bar graph. So hope all of you are understand. So okay students, thank you. Have a nice day.